Hello, Gemini. This is your mid-August 2019 reading. And remember, it will not resonate with all Gemini individuals. But this is for Gemini. I'm asking for new energies to come in for Gemini. Mid-August 2019. Full Celtic Cross for Gemini. New energies coming in for those born on the zodiac sign of Gemini. That's dominant in their chart. Gemini. See what's going on. We're going to get the beginning energy. And you know I always look for a positive reading. But sometimes that energy is just the way it is. And we will work through it. Let's see. Gain. I'm getting that. It's like a stalker card. It doesn't matter how much I shuffle. And I do shuffle these prior to even starting this video. Yes, the ring light's in the way. But that is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It feels like you feel like maybe you lost out. Maybe you didn't get a lot of gain in your life. Maybe um, uh, money's tight. Maybe you're having trouble um, prospering in some area in your life that brings stability. But we'll find out. Something happened. Some of you may be dealing with the Princess of Cups. The Princess of Cups can be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. As you know, I do not assign just one zodiac sign to any of the court cards. But um, this is someone who can be emotional. It could be emotional messages. Or like I said, it could be, you know, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. What's crossing it? Knight of Disc. People. Or, or energies that are slow. Maybe you're expecting a message. Maybe you're expecting to hear something that is positive, but it's slow coming with the Knight of Disc. And also with the Knight of Disc, you, some of you can be uh, involved with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. What's crowning you, you're trying to come out of worry. You're trying to come out of neglect. Um, you're attempting to with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and you may very well reach that goal. It's also, you know, what crowns you that you should come out of worry. Foundation, you feel like someone dece um, deceived you, that they kind of um, were sneaky in some way with the Seven of Swords or flying under the radar, not letting you know everything. And you're waiting for some of you, like I said, a possible message, but something's going so slow for you. In the past, it could be a lover situation with the lover card, lover's card. Had to do with the lovers. Could be that you're feeling that somebody is lying to you in a lover situation. Near future, you will be, you got a lot of people around you, or you will be, sorry, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands can be an Aries Leo Sagittarius in the very near future. It also could be someone just really with a lot of fire type energy. You know, they're very passionate and um, you know, they're they're fun to be around. They're really big, good go-getters. But you'll be meeting up with this person or dealing with them in the very near future. I'm going to lay four more down. I'm just doing this this time because I'm going to see if I do better. And, uh, you know, with knowing the near future, because that's what this is. You got three future outcomes. You got the near future, you got possible future, and you got the ending um, energy of what the outcome is. And so... Um, when I start clarifying these, it'll change up the story. So we're just trying to figure out what's going on right now. You are feeling like someone is deceiving you in some way. But the subject at hand is the Princess of Cups. Like I said, this could be that you're waiting for a message with a Princess of Cups. It's like a page, an emotional message. Or like I said, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Knight of Disc could be a slow energy, like I said, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It's crossing this situation. Why are you there for Gemini? Coming in. Why are you there? There it is again. A, another disc energy. Well, it was not there again, but it's another disc energy. Again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It also could be that you're tr re trying to regain balance in a situation that was kind of devious in some way you're trying to regain balance so princess of cups knight of disc princess of disc why are you all there a lot of court cards success you're trying to regain success with the with this um individual individuals or type of energy with the six of pentacles in the upright stable energy i'm seeing a lot of uh pentacles energy like i said and it's like 
you're definitely dealing with um, stability and finances for some of you. You feel like someone messed you over. You're also dealing with a lover situation, so it could have to do with a lover also involved. Now, what is crowning you is the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles is in reverse. And you're trying to come out of um, not having enough, feeling abandoned, feeling neglected, feeling worried. So, Five of Pentacles in reverse, why are you there for Gemini, is what crowns them or their goal. Hmm, you're trying to figure out something. You're trying to lay down your swords, lay down your boundaries. You're trying to regain peace for some of you. Can I get another card for the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, both in reverse? With the Queen of Discs, again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or we're trying to regain stability. You, you yourself could take on this energy of trying to regain stability, trying to regain um, what is yours and what is rightfully yours in some way, and I'm feeling that. It's mostly feelings there. But I do feel like you are trying to attempt to regain your life again for a lot of you. And you may have messed out, and you're thinking, I got to... Um, think with a clear head now. Oops, something wants to come out and I'm going to let it. Knight of Cups. We already had that Cups energy. I'm going to put it there because I didn't call this energy yet. But it very well could be here too. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in reverse. You, you feel like you're missing the love. Someone didn't offer you what they were supposed to. Or someone was being very unkind emotionally. Now the foundation, we have the Seven of Swords. It is in the upright. It is the foundation, which kind of supports a lot of this. So, Seven of Swords in the upright. Why are you there for Gemini? Could be the Queen of Wands <laughs> for some of you. Now, you will be meeting a um, fire-type energy. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. Um, Queen of Wands has a quick temper, kind of forceful, doesn't like to be slighted. You could take on this energy and get turned around real quick because of the Seven of Swords. For very few of you, you might have uh, messed over the Queen of, so Queen of Swords, not the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and, and messed her over, and she's, you know, ticked off now. So, but it could go any way. It's just there. Someone was feeling deceived, and the Queen of Wands is not happy. So the Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands, why are you there as the foundation for Gemini, mid-August. Yeah. For some of you, it could involve travel. For some of you, this could be something about a vehicle. Just for some of you, I'm just going to tell you the possibilities. It also could be that you are trying to move forward from this negative situation. From a devious uh, that you think is sneaky. And you're doing so forcefully. And it could be that... The Queen of Wands is also doing this. So things are moving pretty quickly with this situation of deviousness. Okay? That's going to come quickly. Now in the past, you're dealing with a lover situation. <clears throat> the lovers is in the upright. So it could be that, you know, something that you're emotionally bound to. And it could be a lover or sometimes there's more than one, you know? But not always. The lovers in the upright. Why are you there for Gemini in the past? There's that Seven of Swords again. Mm, someone may break free or find out something pretty devious about a lover situation. Or you're thinking this. You're thinking, are they doing something they're not supposed to? Or they're thinking this about you. So the lovers in the upright. Seven of Swords in reverse. Why are you there for Gemini in the past position? Yeah, and you feel like there's no victory here. You feel like someone kind of really messed you over in some way, and you're trying to get out of it, possibly, or try to figure out what to do about it. And I do see it moving pretty quickly. As um, the subject at hand, you were trying to regain practica practicality again. You're trying to come out of worry. But the foundation in the past, you know, they're pretty much in tune with each other. They're saying something really devious happened. Now, in the near future, you will be dealing with the Knight of Wands. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they're in the upright. Like I said, someone who is very much a go-getter, 
usually attractive. You know, they're fun to be around. They like to laugh. But the Knight of Wands in the upright, why are you there in the very near future for Gemini? Looks like you're going to be contacting one or they're going to contact, I think they're going to contact you. A lovers again. Oh, definitely has to do with lovers. You got the major kind of twice. And that's like, just getting it once is almost a sure thing. Getting it twice, oh yeah. It's definitely important in this situation. But you may be, you know, meeting up with a type of fire sign or someone with a lot of fire type energy as a lover. So, you know, or um, a very, um, a partnership in some way that, that, that has an emotional bond to it, if that makes any sense. So, the Knight of Wands and the Lovers, both in the upright, in the very near future, Gemini, why are you there? For those that resonate, do you plan on meeting up with it? Oh, it definitely has to do with more than one person. The Three of Swords. Now, for some of you Geminis, you may be meeting somebody else, but you have somebody else in your life. And I'm feeling this, and you, you know, I'm feeling that Gemini felt someone was being sneaky and devious towards them, and they may be seen, then they may decide, oh, I'm going to see somebody else. I'm feeling that for some of you. For others, you may think very well that someone you care about is involved with somebody else, but it could be just a feeling, you know? Or for very few of you, it is, you know, sometimes it's feeling, sometimes it's someone is like, cause you got that five of pentacles and a lot of times, you know, what crowns you and as a, as a, a goal, the five of pentacles gets in their head also, you know, they worry too much. It's, it's the worry card. So it could be that you're just worried about it too. So don't go after your partner until you know for sure, just because you get a reading, you know, like this, because it really could be in your head or it could be a reality. Just don't, um, I'm thinking someone is suspecting somebody of something. Let me put it that way with the seven of swords and the three of swords and the lovers twice. Yeah. Now, the possible future outcome and advice from the universe, it says make it a conscious decision and take domination and control with the two of wands. Two of wands. We always could use the two of wands. Two of wands. Why are you there? It's like with the two of wands. You heard me say this before. You got two options and you like them both. And you kind of can't decide which one to give up and which one to go with. So you're trying to... You know, you're in limbo. You're holding on to both. So the universe is saying, guess what? You know, gotta take a you gotta really make a choice. So the two of wands in the upright, while you're there for Gemini as a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Take control, Gemini. Yeah, come out of hermit mode. Coming out of uh, hiding away from the situation. You know, make up your mind. Saying, don't, don't, you know close it off i i think don't think too long in this situation also with the hermit in reverse so the two of wands in the upright the hermit in reverse while you're there for gemini as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe yeah you're the universe is telling you to, to go ahead and make that decision you know come out of hermit mode because it's you're stagnant you're 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 him hauling around maybe or somebody else around you is so a choice needs to be made and the choice you will do you know i mean a decision and what is coming towards you or the outside environment was going on the outside environment was coming towards you the person or situation you're dealing with isn't going to change up you know, it's it's whatever is going on as the outside environment that you're involved with or know about or whatever. Um, this person has not changed with the two of pentacles. They dropped the ball. So the two of pentacles in reverse while you're there for Gemini is the outside environment. I'm pretty sure it's the outside environment. Could have to do with the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You know, I don't assign one zodiac sign to the court cards. But the Two of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Cups in the upright, while you're there, for Gemini is the outside environment. Yeah, someone's really disappointed that a ball was dropped. Maybe you dropped the ball on this person. Because the outside, outside environment, what happened to the people around you? Whether they're, what, are, what are they thinking? You know, also that something was... The, someone dropped the ball or had to or is not going to change it has to do with the queen of cups and this person can be very disappointed with the five of cups in the upright they're very disappointed or you're very disappointed in them 
But, um, yeah, the situation hasn't changed in whatever's going on. Someone needs to drop the ball. Your hopes and fears that this th situation won't be completed or you will not have a happy situation at home. You fear this or maybe you're just tired of it. So the four of wands in reverse while you're there for Gemini. The Hierophant has to do with uh, past relationships and contracts. I'm thinking a relationship because of the lover's card is so much there. So maybe you fear divorce, some of you, or maybe some of you are wanting it, you know, wanting to end something. Or maybe you're just afraid that somebody you were involved with would be gone. But this is the hopes and fears. The thing is, don't give in to the fears so much. So you want to be able to make a decision and change the situation up by manifesting what you're wanting. <clears throat> so the four of wands, the completion card in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the hopes and fears of manifestation for Gemini while you're there. Yeah, Ace of Cups, you're afraid someone won't offer you a new start or you're or they're you know or you're you're fearing this new start with the ace of cups in reverse again yeah you're afraid that someone either you're afraid someone will leave you or they're afraid you will leave them because of a behavior you thought that they were being devious and it kind of hurt your heart and has to do with a lover like I said, you're worried, so it could be all that you're just worrying. So, you know, have a good talking to them. It's up to you. But the universe is telling you to make a decision and make moves and make a move to do something. Don't ponder it in your head. Don't wait around. Get moving. Final, final outcome, Queen of Swords in the upright. This could be you. This could be Gemini. It could be another Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And they got the good head on their shoulders. They're wise. They're, they're, um, people go to them when they want advice because they are so wise. And this, like I said, could be you, older and wiser, as they say, taking on your crown and doing things right. So you're keeping a good head on your shoulders, Gemini. Let's find out what else is next to you. What are you keeping a good head on your shoulders about? What are you wise to? Queen of Swords, why are you there? Yeah, you avoid a tower situation, Gemini, with the Queen of Swords and the Tower card in reverse. You figure out something and you avoid a disaster. You you avoid things from crumbling around you in some way. You take a stand to make sure it doesn't happen with the Tower in reverse. So the Queen of Swords in the upright, the Tower in reverse, why you there is the final outcome for Gem... Gem uh, can't talk. Gemini. The final outcome for Gemini. And then we'll just kind of sum this up maybe. Why are you there? Over a betrayed situation. Yeah, you avoid a tower situation over a betrayal. You do it well, too, with the Queen of Swords and the Upright. But you are dealing with a, quite a few people here, or a few signs. Um, you felt like you lost something, like in the very beginning with the Nine of Pentacles. You think something just went amok. Maybe you are taken advantage of. Maybe something cost you. Your stability, it doesn't matter. It has something to do with a lover. Um, you didn't gain a victory. Something may have came out over a devious situation. Could involve either um, the Princess of Cups, Dis, or Wands. Either all three, or it's just showing that a lot of you are affected by a certain sign. It does show your attempt to come out of worry, and it looks like you do. It looks like you regain some stability. It looks like you uh, put your swords down. You're not making peace with somebody, but you are definitely coming out of worry. You are going to be dealing with a knight of wands, which could be a fire. It can be a fire sign. Or like I said, someone with a lot of passion and energy. A lot of people consider this type of fire energy noncommittal. They're kind of... Um, uh, sees they see other people all the time they don't want to you know be uh, uh tied down but that not ne not necessarily there's just a lot of fun to be around i found out that way but they are involved in this lover situation and someone is having sorrow thinking that somebody is possibly messing around because you got the lovers and the three of swords there you can't argue with that the universe is telling you to hurry up and make a decision don't you know hide away 
bring yourself out in the limelight and make a decision because you will make a decision if you use this and you will avoid a tower situation if you do. If you get up and start moving and start doing what you need to do, you can avoid a tower situation. Over to had, had to, That has to do with the Ten of Swords or Betrayal. Now, the person or the situation on the outside, it hasn't changed. And you, you may be disappointed or they may be disappointed. Could have to do with the cups energy, but I'm thinking these are emotions. That someone dropped something because they were so disappointed or whatever. You're fearing of broken contract, broken relationships, no new love offer. It ruins your home. That's what you're afraid of. But you avoid it. I'm thinking you take control because the Queen of Swords is kind of badass. She takes control, or he does. Um, doesn't have to be male or female. I mean, it's either male or female, as I'm saying. But I see them taking control. They're, they're in tune with the universe, and they avoid a tower. They know that someone has tried to betray them and stab them in the back and try to ruin them. And I think you take domination on the situation because in the very end, you let people know what you're thinking. You're not. You're gonna battle somebody with the five of swords. Now, whether um, they start arguing with you or you them, you take uh, control. You know that could be also why the chariot is the foundation. You take control of the reins. You're saying, <clears throat> "I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this my way. I'm gonna take control. I'm never. I'm not gonna be hiding away, feeling like I have to think about this and suffer. I'm gonna come out and take control. Put on my crown. Avoid a tower over something that." I felt betrayed me. So get out there and talk. Um, be careful though with the Five of Swords. It doesn't get too out of hand because it can. I understand you can take control or they may react in a certain way, but it looks like you're going to do just fine. You are going to avoid this tower situation. You are going to stop everything from crumbling down around you because someone stabbed you in the back, but you will rectify the situation. And, um, that is basically your reading. I will probably uh, give you another reading. I know I'll give you another reading for mid-September. And as, as, as the month goes on, I may give a bonus if I have time. But I see you work, you know, going through the motions with this over something you felt like just stabbed you in the back and was devious and sneaky. Okay? So that is your reading. And I will let this go. Just don't lose your head, okay? I will let this go over this. It's not worth it.